now we will be discussing about uh, the like uh, reversible reactions and irreversible reaction so like uh, there are many like physical and the chemical changes in our environment due to like uh, let me write like chemical chemical and uh, physical like uh, changes are in our environment so that is what that is like uh, is occurring by what that is occurring by a chemical reaction the those like uh, you know those are due to the reactions so there are two types of reaction reversible and irreversible we will be discussing both with examples reaction okay um so like uh, in these reactions reactants are converted into products now what are reactants the question arises here that what are reactants then i'll tell you the experience reactant we what are reactants so basically reactant are like the substance that is uh, that is like converting into two or more products i'll explain you why react reactant <coughs> sorry reactant reactant are on the other hand of the product so reactant are converted into products reactant okay reactants are like uh, the substance for example um if i could give you the example that uh, a plus b is equal to is equal to c is equal to c so these both are what these both are reactant and the result of these reactant is known as product means by the means of Mm, the reactant the in the result a substance is made is known as product okay by the reaction of two reactant the result is coming in the form of product okay i hope that is clear so the reaction may be reversible like there are two type of reaction reversible reaction and irreversible so there this reaction can be reversible and irreversible uh, okay i let me explain you the reversible reaction first then i'm going to give you the examples so what is reversible reaction reversible reaction is the reaction that can be reverse means that can be come into its own position as well like uh, it never uh, it never like uh, uh what do we say finish it never got get finish like it never goes to the completion reversible reaction never go to the completion means it continuously happening sometime in, in like in the reversible reaction sometime the reactants are converted into products and the products are converted into reactant so this reaction is known as reversible reaction okay um if i would give you the example so for example here i am going to write that the process of melting okay melting the process of melting for example uh 
you are boiling you are putting the water in the fridge and uh, like the water is first of all reactant the water is reactant and then the ice that is made is known as product so uh, you can see that the product uh, first of all the reactant are converted into product okay means the water is changed into ice then if we keep that ice in the room temperature so this product means the ice that we have made can also be converted into again the reactant means if we place the ice ice will become water then we can again do this process so that is known as reversible reaction that never goes to completion that never finish you can also say never um sure sorry that never never finish reversible reaction never finish okay and if i talk about the uh, like hit the here are also example except then melting you can also say freezing freezing is also a process Conden condensing condensing sorry condensation on evaporation is also a process of the reversible reaction like the product can be converted into reactant and reactant again can be converted into product so like this reaction takes place again and again and uh, like it can be con uh, like uh, reversible reaction have two directions it can be in the forward direction or it can be in the reverse direction okay like it takes place again and again what it takes place again and again so it must have directions i'll tell you that is very simple so direction like what um forward and reverse the reverse okay for example like you can see here the water means reactant is converted into product that is the forward reaction okay now if this product is converted into this reactant so that is reverse reaction okay means that is happening against the uh, water so that is reverse reaction okay so when the, these two the reaction of the forward and the reverse reaction will be equal so we will be known as like the rate of re forward reaction and the rate of reverse reaction will be equal that will be known as equilibrium means the the our object will be in the equilibrium what equi i'm sorry for that equi libria means the reverse reaction and the forward direction re reaction is again like uh, means um, equal so that is known as what that is known as equilibrium okay so now moving towards irreversible reaction irreversible reaction is quite opposite to the reversible reaction okay what is irreversible reaction mm. ir rever irreversible re or sabal reaction we'll see it by the example as well okay now the question arises that what is irreversible reaction so the irreversible reaction is the reaction by which the product cannot be like converted into uh, 
um like uh, uh, product cannot be uh, sorry reactant can converted into product like reactant can goes to product but this product cannot come to reactant okay i hope i'll give you the example then you will understand for example the process of combustion combustion uh combustion is a process by which the heat is released so if you burn a paper okay the ashes are being formed can you change that ashes into again the paper no absolutely not so that is the irreversible reaction It means you cannot convert the paper into uh, sorry the ashes ashes into paper the so yeah that is what the reversible and the irreversible another reaction another like example of the irreversible reaction is rusting means a metal got rusted and can you convert that metal into a new metal again no that is the irreversible reaction means you cannot convert that into a reaction Uh, and again the reactant i hope that is crystal clear now and uh, the rate of the reversible reaction and the forward reaction is equal that is known as equilibrium means the state is equilibrium means uh, everything the reactant plus the product is equal on the both side that is known as equilibrium okay